Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about triangular numbers and series. So as you can see I have already noted down the definition. Definition says a number is called triangular number when those many points or objects if you take can be arranged to form a regular triangle. Right? It falls in the category of polygonal numbers because triangle is also a polygon and the first number in any polygonal number is always 1. So 1 is definitely the triangular number. So if I take one point it can be represented like this and this is the first triangular number. Right? And the second polygonal number is always the number of vertices in that polygon. So it has to be 3. Second polygonal number or the second triangular number has to be 3. And if I take three points, I will construct a triangle like this, right? Three vertices and this makes a regular triangle. And what about the third triangular number? Yes, we have to find it. And how do we find it? To find the next triangular number, you take the previous triangular number which you have. So I already have second triangular number, right? And if I talk about the adjacent sides of this triangle, these will be two adjacent sides of this triangle, right? And what is the next step? Next step is you increase one point each on these sides. So if I increase this by one point in this direction and one point in this direction, I'll have an angle like this, right? But this originally was a triangle, regular triangle, right? So to convert this angle into regular triangle, I have to put one more dot over here. And now in this case, this becomes a triangle whose each side is equal to three points, right? And now this is a regular triangle. So what will be the third triangular number? Yes, it's very easy. We just have to count these number of points because now the triangle which we have formed is actually a regular triangle on which each side is equal to three points or two units of length, right? If we call this length between two points as one unit, this was the triangle where each side is equal to one unit and the newly formed triangle which will actually give us the third triangular number in this case, we have one side is equal to 1 plus 1, 2 units, right? And how many points do we have over here? Yes, we are only interested in points. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 points. So 6 is the third triangular number. And how do we find the fourth triangular number? If we talk about the fourth triangular number, we have to take this triangle which is actually in this form right and now if we want to convert it into fourth triangular number what we have to do we have to put a point over here and then a point over here and we have to put two points over here because by increasing one point on the adjacent sides the length of those sides has become equal to four points or three units. So that is why we have to add two more points in the third side also, right? So this becomes the fourth triangular number. Fourth triangular number is nothing but the third triangular number which is six plus four and this is equal to ten. In this particular equilateral triangle we actually have ten points. Six over here which we carried forward from the old triangle and we have added four new points, right? So six plus four is 10. And similarly, if we talk about the third triangular number, it is nothing but three plus three. These three points are from the previous triangle. And since we are talking about the third triangular number, we are adding three also. And second triangular number was nothing but one plus two. Or if we see them in one more style, First triangular number is 1, second triangular number is 3 which is actually 1 plus 2, right? And the third triangular number is the second triangular number plus 3 and second triangular number is 1 plus 2 
and the, to find the third triangular number we have to add three more points right so 1 plus 2 plus 3 is the third triangular number and what about the fourth triangular number fourth triangular number is the third triangular number plus 4 right so third triangular number can be written as 1 plus 2 plus 3 and to find the fourth triangular number what we are doing yes we are adding 4 to the third triangular number so plus 4 and this gives us 10 right yes so if we want to find the nth triangular number or tn what will it be it will be the sum of natural numbers starting from 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and this will continue till yes plus n right and its previous triangular number will be this added till n minus 1 right so to find the nth triangular number you are actually finding the sum of first n natural numbers isn't it yes and what is this sum of first n natural numbers we have already discussed in one of our videos sum of first n natural number is actually n into n plus 1 by 2 right so yes this is also equal to the nth triangular number so now I think everything is clear about triangular numbers one is a triangular number because the definition of a polygonal number is the first term in the series of polygonal number is 1 and the second term in the series is the number of vertices in that polygon and after that every next polygonal number can be formed or can be found by extending two adjacent sides by one point and then reconstructing the polygon by using the points at equal distance right so this was the special case of polygonal number and this was the triangular number and the series of triangular numbers is starting from 1 the next is the number of vertices and in the case of triangle the number of vertices are 3 so the second triangular number is 3 and the third triangular number is 6 which is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 right so third triangular number we found as 6 and the fourth triangular number is 10 and the fifth triangular number will be what 10 plus 5 15 and then the sixth triangular number will be 15 plus 6 which is 21 right and this will continue right and we have a formula to find the nth triangular number which is tn is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 and how do we find this the nth triangular number is actually the sum of first n natural numbers and this is the formula to find the sum of first n natural numbers so this was all about triangular numbers and in next video we are going to discuss the formula to find the sum of first n triangular numbers right so bye bye till then